Hi, I'm Amy Fitzgerald. Welcome to my Stampin' Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to make this card that features the Element of Style stamp set and it features the technique spotlighting. Uh, this is a really fun technique and this is a card that my local and my online Cards and Projects clubs are doing this month. So we'll start with a piece of confetti white cardstock and I have the clear mount stamps and I've mounted it on this block. So it's actually block E. And with the larger blocks, I like to ink them like this. So I'm just going to center it on my paper and give it a nice firm press. There we go. Now I am going to ink it up again. And this time I'm only going to stamp on a little piece of paper and actually put a piece of scratch paper down. So I've inked it up and I think I want this part right here for spotlighting so thank goodness the clear amount stamps I can see exactly what I'm stamping. Okay, now I'm going to take my blender pens and I'm starting with pink pirouette ink and you can squeeze the pad to get more ink on the end or you can just use your ring inkers which is just really quick and easy. And I'm going to go ahead and take my one and a quarter punch and punch out the section that I want. Put some leaves in there too so I'll do like that and that way I don't have to color more than I need. Now I'm going to take a blender pen and make sure it's clean. Now I'm just going to color all of the pink flowers. Now I'm going to scribble on scratch paper to clean off my tip and then I'm going to take some rose red and I'm just going to go into the middles and kind of follow the lines of the pattern a little bit just to add a little bit of uh, depth and color to these pink pure wet flowers. Scribble to clean it and then I'm going to get my old olive. And I could color this with markers but I like the blender pens because I can get lighter and darker areas of ink. If you just keep scribbling it'll just get lighter. Now I'm finished coloring and I'm going to take a standard card size and use my bone folder to make sure it's nice and crisp the crease and then I'm going to take my image that I've stamped and I'm going to take a piece of basic black cardstock and punch out a one and three eighths circle which is slightly larger than the one we just colored. I'll adhere that to the mat and I'll go ahead and adhere this to the mat. Now I want to find the place where this flower matches over here. As you can see this one is this one right here with the leaves. So I want to just kind of line it up as best I can. Oh, and I want to put a dimensional on the back. And lining it up. Let's see. Just about like that. You can see the flowers kind of blend in with the ones off the page. Isn't that pretty? Okay, now I'm going to add this to my card. But first I want to add some ribbon. And I'm actually out of that gorgeous striped ribbon that I used. So I'm going to use black satin. But first I'm going to take my Happy Birthday Sentiment, which is from the All Holiday Stamp Set. And I'm just going to line it up with the bottom of the card and stamp. Now, take my black satin ribbon and I'm going to tie a knot. So I'm going to 
add some adhesive. Kind of all over the place today, aren't I? Okay, there's the satin ribbon. And there's that. And I think I'll tie the bow over on this side since my spotlight is on that side. And I'll just trim my ribbons. And that's it. Much, much easier than it looks. If you'd like some information about my online cards and projects club, be sure to visit my website, www.stampwithamy.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.